time now in the main arena to see this fabulous display from the West Midlands Police. They have one of the largest breeding and puppy development programs in the country. And they supply the majority of police forces. West Midlands Police have over 50 breeding female dogs. A range of breeds as well, German Shepherds, Malinois, Springer Spaniels, Cocker Spaniels, Labradors, Dutch Herders even as well. And the majority of, of dogs are used for protection and searching for offenders, German Shepherds in particular. They have a team of full-time trainers and kennel staff who help with the development of their dogs. This is a long-running display at Crufts. Really will, over the course of the next little while, demonstrate so many facets of work that these extraordinary animals do in aiding their handlers. And brave dogs as well, many of these. Dogs for duty trained absolutely to the nth degree. and welcome to the West Midlands Police Dog Unit Demonstration. Just need to be clear, none of the handlers or the dogs that are here today are part of a display team. They're all operational police dogs and handlers that have come here giving up their free time to show you how fantastic our police dogs are out on the streets. A lot of what we show you today is going to be our general purpose police dog work. We use predominantly German Shepherds, Dutch Herders and Malinois to do our GP work. We're going to kick off initially with a little bit of ag agility. Now, we are in an arena in the centre of Birmingham, so we're a little bit struggling for what we can do. So we've impro improvised a little bit, and we've got PC Wayne Truman and PD Riot, who are just going to do a little bit of a demonstration for you. Oh, I missed one. <laughs> <laughs> we don't really run round cones out on the streets. As long as you can get on top of a car, I'm happy with that. <laughs> there we go. No problems with the car. together now for around two years taking down our criminals out in the West Midlands. We've also got lots of our specialist work so coming into the arena now is PC Lisa Phillips with PD Ashley. So she's one of our explosive search dogs. They've been around the West Midlands keeping us safe during the Commonwealth Games and they were also deployed to London uh, for the Queen's funeral. So what Ashley does is she's searching for explosives so she's just going to scan the arena. Lisa's just going to work around once she gives a freeze indication, that's indicating to us that she's found the substance that she's looking for. So we'll have a nice freeze, then what Lisa will do is give a click indication and reward her with a ball. All of what we do with our police dogs is reward based, so we make sure they, they love what they're doing. It's uh, all about toys, all about play. There we go. And a reward with a toy. See that again? 
So we've got Springer Spaniels, Cocker Spaniels, Labradors. Uh, we've got uh, Springer Doors as well that are out there keeping you safe in terms of explosives work. They don't just do the big operations, but they also respond to spontaneous incidents across the West Midlands. There we go. Oh, she loves her Kongs. There's PC Lisa Phillips with PD Ashley. Also, what we need to do is make sure they can search vehicles. So a lot of what they do is um, search vehicles when they're coming into venues. Make sure that they're not shy to jump up and down things. Make sure that they are really confident in the different environments that they go into. We're going to kick off now with a little bit more of an operational twist. So we're going to go into a bit of a scenario. Uh, I'll talk you through some of it, um, and then we'll see where we go. So we've got um, a couple that are going to be coming into the arena, I hope. And here they have PD Oreo, who is one of our Springer Spaniels, who is going to hopefully be going on to, sorry, she's a Cocker Spaniel, not Springer Spaniel. She's going to be going on to a course, hopefully, later on this year, to become an explosive search dog. Oh, who we got here? Oh, these two look like they're up to no good, don't they? Oh, no. <laughs> She's a little bit nervous. When we did this yesterday, there wasn't a crowd. <laughs> We start the bag. I hope there's some police officers around. I'd have thrown the poo bag at him. <laughs> Hopefully, we've got some police officers that can come and sort this out. A nice take down there by PD Gus. Our dogs are really confident in taking out criminals in lots of lots of different scenarios. We make sure that they are as confident as they can be, so that they can be fantastic operational police dogs. We like them to be a little bit cheeky as well. Some just control work there, so just make sure that he's calm in front of the helper. And then he will help escort him out of the arena. This is really hard for our dogs. They love them bite suits. It's absolutely the best thing for them when they get to bite the bite suit and play. As you can see, he's waiting for him to run off so that he can then grab hold of him and detain him again. Genuinely, this is really hard for him to do this. It's fantastic to see the control that the handler has got. <laughs> I knew I was going to jinx it. <laughs> Big cheer then for PC, Paul King and PD Gus. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, he's seen what, what's good in that bag. are in it together so they will always take on the fight together as you see PC Gemma Bickley has taken on the criminal as well as her dog PD Aggie they've been operational together now for around three years taking down criminals across the West Midlands oh. told you they love these bike suits Come on, 
give him a chair. <laughs> Police dogs don't just detain people, they also support us to locate evidence. So she will be able to do what we call a property search. What that is is the dogs will search an area in order to locate some evidence in relation to uh, an offence. So, for example, a criminal that's stolen a vehicle and has run off from us might throw their car keys, might throw their mobile phone, they might take their jumper off to try and disguise who they are. And our police dogs will then go out and do a search in order to locate the property. Sometimes that's hidden in like long grass, uh, in woodlands, just on the side of the road. But it's fantastic to be able to identify evidence to link the criminal to the offence. So just go out and search the arena. Once she's located something, she'll do a, a down indication for the handler. She should do a down indication for the handman. <laughs> and then she'll be rewarded with that. Like I said, all of our, uh, reward, all of our uh, training is reward-based. I think we've got another article out and she'll do that again for you. Brilliant. Well done, Aggie. She's got to be quick getting that toy out of her pocket because the dogs absolutely love their cons and their balls. It is really important that our dogs um, are really confident in lots and lots of different environments. So all of our dogs that you see here today have come through our development programme. So they are bred with our uh, Kennel Club Assured breeding programme as part of our West Midlands uh, Police. Uh, they then go out to volunteers from about eight weeks old where they are looked after in their home environments and our volunteers take the dogs to lots and lots of different environmental. There we go, she loves it. They take them to everywhere with them, so to train stations, to shopping centres, just to make them as confident as they can possibly be so that then when they come out to be operational police dogs, they're not faced by anything. Even being in an arena surrounded by thousands of people, they're not faced. They're absolutely comfortable with that. Come on, give PC Gemma Bickley and PD Aggie a cheer. Oh, it looks like we've got somebody else skulking about. who's six months old Malinois. As you can see, she's just on a baby sleeve at the moment, but we get them playing with sleeves, doing all the biting and the ragging and the tugging from a really young age so that they absolutely love it. You can see she's so confident, she absolutely loves it, even at six months old. I think, though, that our criminal just got injured. I think we're gonna need um, a volunteer to just give us a hand. Oh, no. Who's this? Oh, not you. It's Mr. Scary, who we haven't seen in the arena since 2017. You'll have to do. Go on, get in there. <laughs> That's our brave, brand new police car there. It 
love this X Reg uh, Vox or Lastra, don't they? As you can see, the criminal has stood still, so our dog is now doing what we call a standout, so he won't bite, he'll just bark at him. Put him under pressure to make sure that he doesn't run off. If he does run off, then he'll obviously take hold of him. And a recall back to the handler, because it's now an attack on handler, and the dog has responded to the handler to call him back and take down the criminal. Honestly, Royal Canyon have done our legs today. They've given us these brand new suits and our dogs don't like to let go of them. <laughs> this is PD Pancho. <laughs> are genuinely the biggest thing that our dogs have got, so it's a fantastic reward for them. <laughs> they don't let go. It's not a bad thing our dogs not letting go of people, so we don't want them to let go when they start shaking their arms or kicking their legs. Because if that happens out in the real world, we don't want our people being able to uh, shake our dogs off, so they will make sure that they do hold on to, uh, to them until we do release them. Criminals don't normally wear bite suits, so we can get them off out in the, uh, the real world. Oh. oh, it looks like we've got a crowd. This crowd isn't big enough, though. Can we have some volunteers in the audience? Is there anyone that can volunteer to give us a hand? <laughs> have we got any volunteers in the audience so that our, uh, our uh, officers and our staff can come and grab hold of you? We need more of a crowd than this. Come on.
Police dogs and our operational support unit often work together hand in hand. And what we've got here is our police dogs pushing the crowd back away from the OSU. And our crowd should go back into the audience. Thank you very much for your audience participation. Our dogs will push them back, push them back, push them back. Like I say, our dogs support lots of different departments across West Midlands Police, the operational support unit being one of them. Oh, here we go, Mr Angry. Can't ever come here without Mr Angry being here, can you? Wonder if he's going to be a match for the OSU. operational support dog unit bend down you know that the dogs are coming over the shields next you better want to get out of the uh, the way thank you to our OSU who have genuinely only found out they were doing this about an hour ago again. He's taking some getting down today, isn't he, this uh, Mr. Angry? <laughs> I think what he's asking us to do is a double dog deployment. I think that's what he's doing. We've got, uh, we've got our brothers, PD Chaos and PD Riot, who I think will oblige with that. Gun. I think that means that we're going to need the support of our firearms unit in order to deal with this criminal. Our dog units always support our firearms colleagues to uh, firearms incidents, so they're always there as a less lethal option. We will use our police dogs in order to take criminals down if they pose a threat to us and our colleagues. We like to turn up on the bonnet of a car. Let 
Lindsay Ocean, she's doing a tag and jack drag back to her, using PD Wes to support her, supported by our firearms colleagues who are keeping that cover on to make sure should anything change, they can utilise their weapons. And a recall back to the handler. PD Wes and PC Derby have been supporting our firearms colleagues for the last three years. Wes have been an operational police dog for five years and they are absolutely fantastic out in the uh, public. Can you actually believe that people run away from this dog? Uh, not once but twice in the same incident, so just a couple of weeks ago. Somebody was detained by the dog. Once she'd released him, he ran off again just to be detained again. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our demonstration. I hope you have enjoyed it. A massive thank you to all of our officers, all of our staff, all of our uh, police dogs. Um, if you are interested in volunteering for us, if you go onto the West Midlands Police website, all the details are on there. A genuine thank you. All of these handlers are keeping you safe 24 hours a day, 365 days of the year. Thank you very much. Display from the West Midlands Police. Wow, Those dogs really do a tremendous dog. We saw the sniffer Police. dogs. Yeah, that six-month-old Malinois as well. Heard about the Kennel Club, a assured breeding Thank program so they much. run, and how the dog support, the operational support unit, and the firearms unit as well.